Lately, we've been experimenting with some creative, clever, and innovative ways to make our audience laugh. Today, we're spreading some poo on the microphone and interviewing people on the street. There was almost a psychological test of putting dog crap on the end of the microphone. Usually, people were so intimidated by the presence of the camera that they would forget about the crap and just answer lame questions. Tell me, what is your favorite part about living in New Jersey? It's nice, I like it in New Jersey. I think, I think there's like instant credibility when there is a professional style news camera there. People just take that more seriously. Who's your favorite athlete? Peace Evers in tennis and uh, uh, Martina Diggis. Peace Evers. He's amazing when it comes to his deadpan face. He makes them think that he's for real. So where are you off to today? They do seem bothered by it, but it doesn't stop them from answering the question. Uh, I'm actually going to uh, meet a friend, uh, grab a beer, and uh, enjoy the uh, rest of the day. Oh, it's a good Let's try to... I can't do it. The smell, it's awful. Tom was so excited by, by how insane that bit was. Obviously that led to Dildo Mike. As you may have noticed, we often do some very clever pieces of comedy on the show. Today is no exception. We're going to be talking to people on the street with a microphone. We try to poke fun at ourselves by, by you know, saying how clever we're being when we're being anything but clever. What's the weather here? Uh, weather is good. Is it getting much warmer? Uh, yeah, it should be a little bit warmer. People don't associate dildos with audio technology, so it almost seemed like a newfangled microphone. What do you think about the price of gasoline? Gasoline is uh, way out of sight. With Tom, I think he takes it to such an extreme that you're kind of overwhelmed very quickly. I think it'd sell gas for a lot less if they wanted to. So you are a Republican? I'm definitely a Republican. I wouldn't vote for a Democrat. I was in shock. I couldn't even believe what he was getting away with. So you, you like you like the Democrats? Yes. Can, can I um, go now? We couldn't show most of the vibrators. I spent probably a day blurring vibrators. The pink one that kind of goes around like that with the gel balls in it with the clitoral stimulator. That was a bit tricky. And the double-headed dildo that bounced up and down, that took quite a while. Anytime you have to blur the dildos, it's not as funny. I mean, you can look back 20 years in comedy, anytime they blurred the dildos, it has not been as funny. I uh, personally have never experienced a tornado. Is it like it is in The Wizard of Oz, a tornado? Uh, it's scary is all I can tell you. What do you think about cigarette smoking? I'm not an uh, official spokesperson, sorry about that. I gotta go. At one point, there was uh, a very large uh, vibrator that he had in the mouth of an old man who was answering questions. What can we do to stop this from happening in the future? We're the number one power. If anything happens in the world, we're the ones that have to go. Right, right. Wait, open for it. See? Open what? Okay. So the U.S. is the number one power in the world then? Uh-huh. Yeah. Which do you think is the number two power in the world? How... How is it even possible that this guy is even answering the question? It, kind of, it, it actually blew me away. He's just worried because he couldn't talk. You know, because he had this thing in his mouth, this big dildo. I can't talk. <laughs> I can't talk with that like that. <laughs> they seem so caught up in their own thought, in their mind's eye, or whatever it is, that they, they're oblivious to what else is going on. It says something about our culture and how important a television camera is and your opportunity to get on TV. And I don't think it says anything good.